Scientists have invented a glue gun that prints bone grafts directly onto fractures during surgery, like those you can see in this nasty image right here. Bone fractures are an extremely common thing. They're one of the most common traumas that will be treated at a hospital. And unfortunately, if you get a nasty break like the one pictured here, a lot of times your only choice is to get screws or metal attachments or some sort of complicated reconstructive surgery. But scientists have managed to make a glue gun-like device that can be used to print biodegradable bone grafts directly onto fractures and could literally revolutionize orthopedic surgery. Here's an image of the device they created which quite literally uses a modified glue gun, like a crafting glue gun that you could buy at a store, but the magic is this thing in the top left, this PCL HA composite, is a completely unique material that actually grafts bones together and helps them heal. It's also kind of cool that you can do controllable shapes and custom some modifications and things like that, but we are going to jump into the nitty gritty and this. And one of the cool things about it is it's an in situ printing system that enables real time fabrication and application of a scaffold directly at the surgery site. This allows for highly accurate anatomical matching, even in irregular or complex defects, without the need for pre operative preparation such as imaging, modeling, and trimming processes. So you might not have to get an MRI to fix your bone defects, or if it's a disaster, maybe we don't have time for it, we can go right in with the glue gun. So it's a modified glue gun capable of low temperature printing, making it safe for use on living tissue, and it prints a composite of polyprocaprolactone, which is a little bit difficult to say, it's a biodegradable polymer, and hydroxyapatite, which is a mineral naturally found in bone that can be melted down and extruded into bone defects. No toxic solvents needed or added what Whatsoever, to not only integrate biologically with the surrounding bone tissue, but also to gradually degrade in a safe way over time and be replaced by newly formed bone. The results show the printed group exhibited superior outcomes in key structural parameters such as bone surface area, cortical thickness, and polar moment of inertia, suggesting greater bone integration. And this wasn't done in a petri dish. This was actually done on a rabbit model with a femoral defect that was too large to heal naturally. Unfortunately, this means scientists were probably breaking the bones of rabbits, uh, but they compared their 3D printed composite material with commercial bone cement that is commonly used over a 12 week period, and they found their new glue gun bone printer to be vastly superior because the device is compact, manually operated, and the surgeon can adjust the printing direction, angle, and depth during the operation in real time. They also demonstrated that this process could be done in a matter of minutes instead of what would typically be hours and highlights a significant advantage in terms of surgical efficacy. 